Our distant ancestors were unable to explain many natural phenomena, and therefore they attributed them to divine origin. Today, science has advanced significantly, so now we know why the seasons change, how the clouds are formed, and why solar eclipses occur. However, even today, there are still some very rare phenomena that surprise, amaze, and sometimes even frighten people who get to witness them. Today, I'm going to tell you about some of them. Penitente These are peculiar formations on the surface of snow and fern fields in the shape of inclined needles or pyramids up to 6 meters high. They are found in the highlands of the tropics and subtropics. From afar, they look somewhat like a group of kneeling monks. Such formations of up to 30 meters in height were found on the Kumbu Glacier of Mount Everest. When the air warms up, the penitentes evaporate before they turn into liquid. Brinicle or Finger of Death Brinicle is a real sea icicle. It appears when an iceberg is flooded and releases an icy saline solution, which freezes the seawater around it. Having reached the bottom, the finger of death destroys living organisms in an area of several meters. Everyone has probably heard of these strange stones in the Valley of Death. It is a natural national park in California, USA. The rocks of this valley can move. They literally crawl slowly, leaving impressive tracks. The Mojave people, the inhabitants of the desert of the same name where the park is located, were the first to notice this incredible characteristic of the stones. These mysterious rocks can move in groups and individually, synchronously or in different ways. Sometimes they return to their initial position and start moving in the opposite direction. People puzzled over the cause of this phenomenon for a long time. As it turned out, everything is much simpler than everyone thought. No higher powers were involved in the process. It's just water that occurs during one of the seasons. When it freezes, it creates a kind of slide on which the stones glide. According to historians, such a crack really did appear in one of the cities of Africa. This photo, however, is a kind of reconstruction that demonstrates what it would be like if it happened in the modern world. You have to agree, this picture is definitely not for the faint of heart. Especially if you imagine the scale of this cataclysm. Frozen trees in Lapland. These strange structures are just trees covered in snow during a snowstorm. The treetops bend under the weight of the snow, which makes the snow-covered landscape seem even more mysterious. And this attraction is much less interesting, at least for most people, but for what it lacks in appearance, it makes up with its essence. The landscape consists of more than 500 tufa spires. All of the pinnacles vary in size and shape, from short and squat to tall and thin, and are composed primarily of calcium carbonate. They are now isolated from the world and are slowly being destroyed near the southern end of the valley. You could have seen this place in different movies, such as Battlestar Galactica, Disney's Dinosaur, Planet of the Apes, and many others. Remember the various crop circles that people believe to have been made by aliens? Here's something similar. Those are also circles, and people also don't know where they came from, though they're a bit different from the crop circles. They are located in the vast desert region of Namibia. The landscape is covered with low vegetation and is dotted with bare, round areas, which are lined with a narrow strip of grass along the perimeter. 
Most of them have a diameter of about 2 meters, but the largest are up to 12 meters in diameter. Their cause and purpose are still unknown. What do you imagine when you hear the words, chocolate hills? I think many of you imagine hills made of the delicious dessert with sweet avalanches flowing down their sides. Basically, something from the universe of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But would you be surprised if I told you that the chocolate hills are real? Sure, they aren't actually like what I described, but still. This wonder of the world is a unique natural formation, which is included on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The Chocolate Hills got its name because of the properties of the grass that grows on it. When the grass dries up, it changes color to brown, which explains the name. If giants ever did exist, this was probably their roadway. What you're seeing is a place made of 40,000 connected stone columns. Would you believe that nature could have created something like this? I don't, to be honest. This roadway is located three kilometers away from the city of Bushmills and looks like a stone springboard made of multi-level columns, which starts at the foot of the cliff and gradually sinks into the sea. Driftwood Beach is a short walk east of the large fishing pier in the northern end of Jekyll Island. It is more suitable for getting aesthetic pleasure rather than swimming. The fact is that the part of the island on which the beach is located is gradually sagging, which is why parts of the trees end up in the water. But these aren't just trees. They are sort of like snags preserved by time or the hot sun, which create a surreal landscape and an amazing background for a photo. Even though we've been living on our planet for quite some time now, it still surprises us to the point where we say, wow, I couldn't have even imagined something like that. If we feel this way about Earth, it's rather expected that other planets surprise us even more. Take Saturn, for example. Scientists discovered a hexagonal storm there. They are still unsure about what it was, but it looked truly fascinating. Here's an interesting fact about this phenomenon. The length of one side of the storm was about 13,800 kilometers, which is more than the diameter of our planet, while a complete rotation of the hexagon took 10 hours, 39 minutes, and 24 seconds. Ice hair. The bacterium Pseudomonas syringae catalyzed the freezing of water inside plants. When the water leaves the plant and comes into contact with the cold air, such icy hairs are formed. This fungus is called Coriolactus. It has a very small range of habitat and is found only in some tiny areas of Japan and Texas. The mushroom is commonly known as the devil's cigar. When it's time for it to release its spores, its body opens with a hissing sound and a smoky cloud of spores is released. This musical performance costs the mushroom its appearance from the neat cigar, it turns into an equally pretty star. And now let's go to the city of Taos, because they have something there that we definitely should talk about. For many decades, people have been hearing sounds of an unknown origin. The sound is somewhat similar to what heavy equipment makes when moving down the highway. That's what the locals hear, but there's no highway by the city, and even more so, not the kind that heavy equipment could use. And this is the Canary Islands Dragon Tree, or simply the Drago. It's native to the Canary Islands, Morocco, and the island of Madeira. The tree is quite rare, and that's mainly because of people. By the way, as you can now see, it is the resin of the dragon tree that is responsible for its name. It's understandable that a tree filled with liquid that is so similar to human blood was used in numerous rites and rituals. Even in our time, the resin of the dragon tree is used for medical purposes. Friends, that's all for today. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, 
and we'll see you next time.